Welcome to Health Students Watching. As we begin, we're going to review things we've learned so far in the pages we've discussed in the last few lessons. First two come to the middle. Tell me, we're going to play Still the Bacon. So they're reaching for the beanbag girls team and versus boys team. Our scorekeepers, Adriana for the girls team and Jackson for the boys team. Students watching, you keep track of how many you get correct as well. What is the key to safety? Go, Carson. Be safe. Adrian, or um, Amaya? Aware. Being aware, girls have it next too. What are you practicing by protecting yourself and others? Go, Josh. Safety. Safety habits, boys. Next two, knowing what is going on around you is called being what? Go, Arthur. Aware. Aware, boys have it. What type of area should you stay in? Go, Emily. Safe. Asa. Well-lit area. Well-lit area. Boys have it next to. What is the emergency number to call for help? Go. Caden. 911. Yes. Is it safe or unsafe to stay in a car alone? Go. Jimmy. Unsafe. What next to? What is safe to wear when playing sports? Go. Aiden. Gear. Yes, your gear or specifically your eyewear. What should you always do when you leave the car? Go. Dev. Lock it. Lock the doors. A person walking on a sidewalk or a street is called what? Go, Carson. Pedestrian. Yes, when the sun is going down and it is getting dark, what time of day is it? Go, Josh. Dusk. It is dusk. What side of the street should you walk on? Go, Lexi. Arthur. Right. Incorrect, it is left. No points here next to. What should you always walk on if there is one? Go, Asa. Crosswalk. That's where you cross the street. Carly? Sidewalk. Sidewalk. Next two. You should never cross the street between what? Go. Emily? Cars. Yes. Next two. Specifically parked cars. What type of clothing should you wear at dusk? Go. Jimmy? White color. Yes. Next two. Where should you cross before getting off of a bus? Go. Tyra? Aiden? Crosswalk. No, it would be students watching in front. Next two. Always get in, out, in and out of a car on what side? Go. Dev? The right. Kathleen? Left. Students watching? The side closest to the curb. No points here next to. Give me one poisonous type of plant that could irritate your skin. Go. Carson? Poison ivy. Yes, next to. Is it safe or unsafe to help an injured animal? Go. Josh? Unsafe. It is unsafe. Next to. Is it safe or unsafe to play with a wandering animal? Go. Arthur? Unsafe. Unsafe. Well done. Next two, last question. Besides poison ivy, what other poisonous plant could irritate your skin? Go. Students watching, it would be poison oak or poison sumac. Girls return to your seat, and the girls have three points. Boys return to your seat, the boys have 13 points. Boys are the winners. Give yourself a pat on the back. Students watching, how many points did you get? Well done. At this time, take your book, put it away, take out your quiz materials. We're going to look at our quiz together. Write your name at the top. Then we're looking at quiz five. You're going to fill in the blank, choose the correct answer from the box below. Adult, front, aware, pedestrian, back, sidewalk, closest, work, farthest. Only four sentences there, so only four of those answers will be used. None of them will be used more than once. True and false for numbers five through nine. Take a look at the underlined words to help you determine whether that statement is true or whether it is false. Look at the back. Short answer for numbers 10 and 11, give two common plants that could irritate your skin. For the labeling part, you're going to use the words from the box, railroad crossing, school sign, stop sign, and warning sign. So label, label those signs there. Take your time, think carefully as you complete your quiz. Let's pick up more with safety, specifically with our bicycles. Read our first word, Adriana. Condition. You want to make sure you know the condition of your bicycle so that you can be safe while riding it. Dev, the next phrase. Safety helmet. Something you should wear to protect yourself as you enjoy your bike. Presley. Cramp. That's a tightening of your muscle. You need to be aware of those so you can take a break so that doesn't turn into something worse. Open to page 108. We're going to begin reading more about our bicycle safety. Begin for us, Carly. Bicycle safety. Riding a bike is good exercise, but if you are not careful, you can get hurt. Whenever you ride a bike, your safety depends on three things. The condition of your bicycle, your riding skills, and wearing a safety helmet. In order to keep your bicycle in good working condition, you should check its different 
different parts each week. If something needs to be fixed, you should not ride your bike until an adult has repaired it. Your bicycle should be the correct size for you. You should be able to reach the pedals and the hand handlebars easily because you may not need to need to stop quickly. Because you may need to stop quickly. Good smoothness. Pause. So give me something that your bicycle safety depends on from the italicized sentence. Students watching? Jackson. Deb? on the condition yes the condition of your bike make sure those things are working well so that you are safe your riding skills the better of a rider you are the safer you will be and making sure that you have that good safety helmet on that is in good condition those things will keep you safe why should you why do you think you should not ride your bike on a sidewalk students watching Carson in case you hit a who? Okay, yes, because pedestrians use sidewalks, so you want to stay away from those. We're going to read more about that. Continue reading for us, Tyra. You should ride near. You should ride near your home so that you are close to an adult who can help you if you fall. Never ride on a busy street unless an adult is with you. Then ride close to the curb on the right side of the street and the same direction that traffic is going. Never ride in heavy traffic. Never ride on sidewalks that are for pedestrians. Good accuracy, let's pause. So we've talked about several things from our reading that would be unsafe for us to do on a bicycle. Can you think of any other students watching? Madison, what should you look for while you're riding? If you're riding on a street, what else could be on the street? Cars. Cars. So if you're riding along a street, be aware of those cars. Be aware if there are a lot of cars. That's called heavy traffic. You want to be aware of people that could be walking or animals. You want to be aware of any other things that would be moving. So you want to make sure you're aware of those things around you. If you're riding alongside the road and there are other drivers riding on that road, you want to watch to see, are they paying attention? Do they see you or are they distracted by something else? Are they distracted because they're on a phone or they're texting or something like that? You want to make sure that the driver sees you. You might think they do, but you need to make sure that that, that driver is not distracted. He does know where you are and he is aware of you. You also want to be aware of the weather. Sometimes a rainstorm might be coming, and that could greatly affect the driver's ability to see you. If there's heavy rain or lots of other things going on, those drivers might not be able to see you as well as you think they do. If you are on your bike and you are enjoying it, you might want to do some extra fun things on it, but doing those extra fun things alongside of cars could cause problems. So save those extra fun things with your bike for other places away from the heavy traffic. Let's continue reading more about how we can use hand signals to communicate with others so that those drivers know what we are planning to do. Continue reading for us, Aiden. When you, <clears throat> when you ride your bicycle, you are responsible to know and to put into practice bicycle safety rules. Learn the hand signals below. Ride your bike only where your parents have given you, parents have given permission to ride. Remember to always wear your safety helmet. Good smoothness. Pause. Let's stand. Put your arm up like this. This is right turn. Left turn is straight out, making it go down and stop. So let's do it again. Right turn, left turn, slow down or stop. Again, right turn, left turn, slow down or stop. Now say and do it with me. Right turn, left turn, slow down or stop. Now show me left turn. Good. Show me slow down or stop. Good. Show me right turn. Well done. Be seated. Take out your pencil. Let's look at the first one. Bicycle safety depends on what? There's three things from that first italicized sentence. Deb. Condition and your riding skills and... What should you wear? A helmet. Helmet. Good. So the condition... Riding and helmet are the words for that blank. Number two, never ride your bike on what that are meant for pedestrians? Jackson? Sidewalk. Right. What are the three signals that you can use as someone riding his bicycle? Adriana? 
Good, fantastic. Right turn, left turn, slow down or stop. Raise your hand if you enjoy swimming. I know I do. That can be a fun activity. It's one of the best activities for you. Let's read more about how to be safe as we enjoy swimming. Pencils down, turn the page, continue reading for us, Emily. Start with our term to remember. Term to remember, cramp, a sharp pain caused by a sudden muscle contraction. Water safety, do you enjoy splashing in the pool on a hot summer? Hot summer day, you will be much safer around water if you know how to swim. Your parents may have you take swimming lessons. Once you know how to swim, you should never go swimming alone. An adult can watch to make sure you are safe in the water. Swim only where it is marked safe for swimming. This is usually where a lifeguard is on duty. If you do not know how to swim, you should stay in shallow water or wear a life jacket. Do not flow on inner tubes or other play equipment that could carry you into deep water. Practice staying afloat so that if you ever need to, it will be easier to stay calm. Follow these water safety rules. Caution, water safety. Listen to the lifeguard or adult. Be aware of how deep the water is. Use sunscreen. Never swim alone. Avoid rough play. Wear a life vest when needed. Stay away from water during an electrical storm. Very smooth. Where should you swim, students watching? That by yourself? No. No, where others are. Make sure you are swimming near others. Is it safer to swim in shallow water or deep water? Aiden? Shallow. Shallow water, right. Why should you never float on an inner tube if you cannot swim? Students watching. Asa? Because the inner tube could carry you into deep water. Exactly, or something could happen, and you might not be able to depend on that inner tube, and then you're stuck. So you want to make sure that you can swim along with being able to enjoy that inner tube. Swimming is one of the best exercises for you. It uses lots of muscles, even more than football and baseball. So it's a great activity. We just want to be safe about it. Let's read more about safety while swimming. Anna. Since cold water is a shock to your body, you should not jump into water that is too cold. Try to get into the water slowly. Get out if, of the water if you are tired or chilled because your muscles may contract, suddenly causing a sharp pain called a cramp. Your muscles, When your muscles cramp, it is hard to relax and to stay calm. Very smooth. Pause. So jumping into cold water is not good because it could cause your muscles to cramp. Some activities are near water, such as boating and fishing, so you want to be aware of your safety while doing those and making sure that you're wearing a life jacket or a life vest when you're in those areas and you're thinking about being safe near those water-related activities. Students watching, you're going to finish reading through the bottom of 111 and then do the comprehension on page 112 so that you'll be ready for our next lesson.